Hello everyone. Um, my name is Robin Bailey. For those of you who may be new to attending Compline at uh, St. Bartholomew's at 10 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Um, Father Sean is uh, positive for COVID and is not feeling great. It's not feeling awful, but he's certainly not feeling great. So um, I volunteered to do Compline for tonight and tomorrow night. I'm sorry I'm a few minutes late. I had set my echo alarm and the darn thing didn't go off. So my apologies to you all. Um, I'm trying to bring up uh, Facebook for us so that I can see uh, who is joining us. And oh, once again, I'm upside down on Facebook. Okay, let me try turning this around and see if that changes. I'm on a, a tripod. Oh, it looks like it's going to change, kind of. I have no idea what I did. Okay, so I really do appreciate being able to change it because looking over at Facebook to see who's joined us and seeing myself upside down is somewhat disconcerting. So I'm um, hoping that we will have some folks join us this evening and again, um, I will be here tonight and tomorrow evening, Thursday to do Compline. So usually um, Sean starts with a question and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give us a few minutes to have some people join us, but basically um, really just kind of talk about just some general things, um, asking for prayers as we go through this service for our world, for our country, um, for healing of the divisions both globally and in the U.S. Um, I think that anybody who's watched television knows how um, deeply divided our country is right now. And, and I think we have many places within the world that where divisions um, have made it less than safe for a variety of reasons. I would do want to recommend a website called worldinprayer.org, which uh, issues a new prayer every Thursday, which is just really an interesting prayer that looks not just at what is going on here in the U.S., but around the world things that we don't necessarily even know about that are going on that need prayer. So I certainly recommend that very highly. Um, you can get to the Episcopal Book of Common Prayer online and Compline starts in that book on page 127 if you have an actual book of Common Prayer. So did want to let you know that. Um, so again, we will, I'm going to start now, um, with the order of Compline. This is an interactive service, and if you're looking at the service, you can see where, um, I expect you all, and hope you all will participate. So, the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. I am turning down the Facebook sign um, so that you, I don't have an echo. Um, our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name, amen. May the Almighty God grant us each forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh God, make speed to save us O oh Lord, make haste to help us. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We're going to say Psalm 23 uh, this evening, and that is in, um, that is, and I just pulled up the wrong page, Psalm, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup runneth over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Janet. I'm so glad you could join us. Martha, Gay, I'm really glad you all joined us. I was afraid I was by myself. <laughs> so thank you for signing in. Um, Lord, you are in the midst of us and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that, is which, that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Saying together, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day, your people may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both night and day, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. And now, if um, I'm going to offer some prayers, if you all um, have a prayer you want want to have acknowledged, please feel free to write it in the comments. Um, if anybody has joined us on YouTube, we do look at those uh, comments and prayers and add them later quietly. Um, I can't see Facebook at the same time that I, I, excuse me, I can't see YouTube at the same time as I see Facebook. Not quite sophisticated enough with my um, technology. So I am going to ask for prayers for our teachers and our health care workers. Our teachers, Jana and Jana, Janice, Nina, Shanna times four, Kay, Kimmy, Charles, Kelly, Kathleen, Rachel, Nina. And if I left anybody out, my sincere apologies. That's the list I have from a while back. Um, for our healthcare workers, both physicians, nurses, 
folks who have um, worked in hospitals, we can't keep them open without the janitorial staff, without um, the cafeteria staff, the, the cooks, the people who keep everything sterilized that's been used. Those kind of people are critical for the working of um, health care. So we pray for Davin Cordell, Carol Grant, Caitlin Gooding, Christina and David King, Mandy Chisamor, Jules Boatwright, Andrea Hessick, and Jason Pischinski. We pray for those who are ill, Sue Walters, Robert, Joseph Medina, Judd Cornell, B and Mike Gaines, Chuck Spencer, David Spencer, Connor, Alan Lukey, Bill Cleveland, Rob Wilson, Terry Poole, William, Lyndon Malatiki, Roy Malitsky, Shannon Chavis, John Holloway, Jim Atkins, Martha and Bruce Wild, Mary Spolins, Gary Church, John Nero, Baby Eleanor, Susan Viscasol, Angie Blanco Frost, John Womble, Bob Shackelford, Kimmy Crabtree, and all those with coronavirus, and also our priest Sean with coronavirus. So I also want to recommend to you um, to pray for the spirit of Darrest Williams and those of his family and friends who mourn his death. Services for him will probably be next week. We don't have a firm date yet. Lord, you have given us so many blessings over the years. Even through these difficult times, we know that you are with us. Help us to be always mindful of your presence in our lives and the many blessings that you have given us. Gay Skinner says she's uh, thankful and grateful for her sister Lynn's successful surgery and quick recovery. Oh my goodness, Jana, you're having surgery, shoulder surgery, Friday at 7, and praying the, sur the surgeon is a morning person. They almost all are. Um, and Philip Woods added, and Philip, I'm glad you were able to join us, that he'd already had six shoulder surgeries. And I know you've really done a, um, had a very, very smooth recovery with this time with lots of physical therapy. Um, Jenna will all be thinking about you for sure on Friday and holding you and the surgical staff in prayer. So you take care of yourself. At least you had, at least you had a wonderful trip to Hawaii, uh, which I'm sure um, helped relax you a little bit beforehand. <clears throat> Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace saying together, Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see. A light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Oh, Kathy, you were able to join us as well. I'm so glad you could, could join us. Wishing all of you and anybody who joined us through YouTube a good night's rest, a wonderful day tomorrow and ask that, again, we keep our country and the world in prayer for peace, for lack of division, for caring and concern for all those around us. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us. Amen. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. 
go do good things, and thank you again.